Welcome! In this push button world, the melanin dominant humans are not counted at all. In 1792, the third United States President Thomas Jefferson, when he was Secretary of State, said this, comparing them by their faculties of memory, reason, and imagination. It appears to me that in memory, the Negro, Bantus, are equal to whites. In reason, much inferior. As I think one could scarcely be found capable of tracing and comprehending the investigations of Euclid. And that in imagination, they are dull, tasteless, and today, the former slave owner president statue has been toppled by black life uh, matters. Was he correct? Have we been the best as a race? The topic that we want to discuss, very critical, very informative, very illuminating, very important in this juncture of life and our civilization as a race is a new world by scientific magic this civilization that we are dealing with and talking about who created this modern world there's absolutely no doubt it was thought out by european scientific magic most of the inventors are europeans of all the things that we see today and talk and use the natural earth which our ancestors had maintained in pristine state has been transformed by European scientific technology into a push pattern is and luxury modernity. Is this the new world that we want? Is this new world development by scientific magic the best or a total disaster? Let's consider and think about this. Technology uh, built on science is the main driver of Euro success. But what is science? Science is the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. Science, this word comes from the Latin word scientia, meaning knowledge. It is a systematic enterprise that builds and organizes knowledge in the form of testable explanations and predictions about the universe these are the two methods it looks like our own scientific system was defeated by the European scientific system there's no doubt about that let's look at this world and discover the waters in which we are all swimming today we're going to do that and consider a number of topics the universe according to European science so-called evolution of life or natural creation master architects now living in bad hearts ancient african origins of mathematics original astronomy and communication war you wouldn't want to lose and miss any of these topics because they formulate our illumination as well as information that we need to make decisions in terms of health, investment, and as well as preparation unto death. Advanced neuroscience. This is the scale of the universe mapped to branches of science and showing how one system is built atop the next throughout. So you can see that there is uh, the parallel universe at the top there, as well as the string theory as the least and smallest of all but i want to highlight quickly that this thing theory was already formulated by the dogons the black people the bantus in mali thousands of years before any european was on the earth capture that so got a particle of an atom which is about 10 to the power 12 very small tiny you can't see it it's almost theoretical then you got the atom you got the cell and you got the human and there when you start the human is social sciences sociology law ethics and economics this is what modern science has given us this is what modern european science has given to the world you got psychology and developmental as well as cognitive and clinical psychology and many many other issues there 
So when you come to the Earth and the solar systems, the Milky Way and the visible universe, you got to use physics and astronomy, classical and relativistic, which is Einsteinian, and this is Newtonian, or mechanical, and this is all, all what we have today. I got geoscience, meteorology, and geology. These are all European sciences. When you come to the cell, you got the functional biology, which is life science, which has life sciences, physiology, medicine, cellular biology, biochemistry, and genetics. I just want to highlight here that when it comes to the cell, our ancestors would simply say totems and blood. That's it. They've answered a lot by saying that. So when it comes to the atom itself, there's chemistry as well as physics, material properties and chemical reactions, organic and inorganic chemistry, quantum and classical. It's actually quantum now. Particle physics and thermodynamics. And then you got formal sciences like mathematics and algebra, or mathematics and logic. This is European advanced science. But let's look and now go into our Bantu mysteries. Because that's where we should derive our comparative standard and go towards other systems. Our ancestors, specifically from southern part of Africa, would ask, was the universe created by a huge explosion? The answer is no. There was no Big Bang. What does the law of cycles say? The law of creation is the law of cycles. Which says the end point is the same as the beginning point. And the cycle repeats. That's a fundamental teaching of our ancient ancestors. A scientific, if you want to put it. It's based on millions of years of observations. Not this uh, 300, 400 years uh, quick think that we have from neuroscience. Where did the present universe originate? Black Root Science teaches uh, that the present universe originated from the previous one. Now mark our steps here. Observe our steps here. Where did the previous universe originate? The previous universe originated from the one before. When was the beginning? There was no beginning. Capture that. There was no beginning and there is no end. It has always been and ever shall be. It has always been and ever shall be. It's a law of cycles. The scientific law of cycles by our ancestors compared with this advanced neuroscience. Where did the Earth's atoms come from? They were actually the star systems of that previous universe created by our ancestors as mandated by the nameless creator who is not a being or a spirit but who is beyond who created our universe our ancestors the original people called the first divinities created this universe and through it the creator infused his laws you can go and if you want to get in touch get in touch we'll send you this uh, black root sciences uh, voodoo pdf if you want it it's full of information let's continue a few questions that needs your personal answers now come these are test questions and we will give the answers what is physics it is the knowledge of the laws and the principles of atoms and electrons now these laws are natural laws and when you say atoms it's a greek word that came from atema or atom as they want to say it but we know it's atema which means black what is astronomy it is the knowledge of the laws governing stars and planets what is the only difference between stars and atoms it is size the laws and the principles are the same Capture that. This is from our ancestors. What is the electron like on a giant size scale? The Earth is a giant size electron. The Earth is an electron. You shall see when we do and we deal with electromagnetic uh, frequencies and fields and pollution. Capture this and understand. Put it in your mind. The Earth is the electron. 
What is the nucleus like on a giant scale? The sun. What is the atom like on a giant scale? Our solar system. It's a giant atom. What is the atom made of? The atom itself is made of atoms or atema. Why will the fundamental particle of matter never be found by scientific instruments? Because they are using physical instruments to try to detect non-physical instruments. They are using a wrong tool for the job. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the answer. Straightforward. Right? So, let's continue. Modern science teaches evolution as the source of human life. On the other hand, our ancestors reveal the existence of an intelligent design. Who is correct? What evidence is there against evolution? Since we say our ancestors are correct, bring one proof, chirality. Look at your hands. Just look at your left hand and your right hand. They are a mirror image of each other. Just look at them now. And then try to put your left hand over the right hand or vice versa. Can you see you cannot superimpose them? Why? Since they are the same, made by the same DNA. Now, evolutionists hopes you don't know chemistry. The problem with chirality, the experiment that you have just performed, trying to put your left hand over your right hand, and you find that they are not super impossible. They cannot, you cannot impose them. Chirality is probably one of the best scientific evidences against random chance evolution. Chirality proves that life did not come from chemicals only but that it would need an extremely intelligent designer obviously this is one fact they do not even want to discuss they dismiss it they ignore it chirality is a chemical term that means handedness the non super impossibility of your hands and many many other chemicals it's what is called chirality it's not just a major problem for evolution. It is a dilemma. It is a disaster for evolutionists. According to evolution, natural processes must explain everything over long periods of time. However, the process that forms chirality cannot be explained by natural science in any amount of time. That is the dilemma. Either natural processes cannot explain everything or chirality does not exist but it exists we have just proved it for this reason chirality can exist as a right-handed or left-handed molecule and each individual molecule is called an optical isomer what is the problem of chirality in our bodies proteins and dna possess a unique third dimensional shape and it is because of this third dimensional shape that the biochemical processes within our bodies work as they do. It is chirality that provides the unique shape of proteins and DNA. Blood. This is exactly what an intelligent designer will craft. Just like the man or the mind that crafted your smartphone. It's not by chance. Therefore, the origin of life is a matter of programming, not just chemistry. Stick with the nameless creator until the day you leave the earth in death. Now, this new world created by scientific uh, magic from Europe is a disaster. It's a total, complete mess. Life did not arise due to evolution by chance or even by physics and chemistry minus an intelligent creator. Europe teaches you that. European science promotes that, which is a fallacy, which is a lie, which is meant to demean and put you down. Yet you are not. You are great. We shall prove why and how. The remote nameless creator needed to create life, even the simplest life, greater than that of humans, to experience this third dimensional frequency through it. Through you. Through that bacteria, through that dog, through that cat, through that mouse, through that cow, through that baboon. 
the nameless creator who is not a spirit or a being is exploring and experiencing what he or she or it created thus live your life with this knowing and then let's go through it with courage brevity and the wisdom that's the philosophy we need sadly the vast majority of discussions today on the origins of science only restricts you to Greeks, Romans, and other whites. But in fact, most of their discoveries came thousands of years after African developments. While the remarkable black civilizations in Hamid, Mohenjo, Daro, it is remained there was sophistication and impressive inventions throughout ancient sub-Saharan Africa as well. Hamid Ibru Ethics Marifado says let us look back and protect our lives as much as we can from modern science magic pollution you have to battle every day to reach your higher consciousness that's a hamiti saying how do we live in this world visit us and read more from our newly revamped website www.marfado.com you can also join us and send us an email on join at marfado.com. Subscribe to our channel, Committee Brew Ethics. Thank you. Have a good day.